Hi guys, I'm in Midtown West today. I'm outside Mount Sinai. I'm going to go in and meet some of our physician advisors. Uh, if you're doing a project like the Universal Health Information Network, which will transform the world of healthcare and digitize uh, the entire healthcare world across the globe, uh, one of the most important things is to work closely with physicians and healthcare workers. It's important to talk to them, to listen to them, and understand what they need in a network such as this. Uh, so for that reason, we've created a large advisor network. If you go to our website on unhin.org, you'll see the names of over 50 physician advisors there. Uh, several of them are in Mount Sinai West, and today we're going to go there and meet them. I'm going to conduct some, converse, some interviews with them, have some conversations, and we'll record these and bring them to you so that you can see firsthand what inputs they're giving, what their thoughts are, and how we're incorporating these inputs in our work. All right, let's go and talk with them. Hi, I'm Dr. Bander. I'm the medical director for Mount Sinai Health Systems Network Development. I've been a cardiologist here for about 10 years. We see approximately 300 patients a week uh, inside Mount Sinai and in and outside of our uh, department's network. Primarily, we've been focused on interventional cardiology as well as heart failure. Uh, however, we've been subject to a lot of uh, disruptions uh, given our transformation over to uh, EPIC systems. So when I first started working in medicine, paper uh, charts were standard, and it was pretty easy to go from one patient to another. Uh, with the advent of EMR, there was a lot of hope that it would really help with patient care. And in some ways it has. It's allowed us to really keep a longitudinal record of our patient from wherever we are. However, there's a lot of restrictions about where we can access that and when. And unfortunately now, there's a lot of difficulties in keeping patient flow going because you spend a lot more time charting than you actually do with patients. This leads to a lot of frustration in my division amongst our physicians as they feel like they spend more time with the computer than actually spending time on clinical care. One of the biggest problems that we have in, uh, in our division has been when our patients go outside the health system. It becomes almost impossible to get records. We're faxing over requests forms to other places. Our patients get admitted to other hospitals for procedures and we're unable to receive the reports or the copies of the tests or the surgeries that they had done. Often this leads to uh, duplication of services and tests, which leads to increased costs on our end as well. I can tell you many times that we've had multiple patients come into our office, repeated the same tests, and we were not paid by the uh, payers. One of the challenges we face today is leveraging all the new healthcare technology that we have, as a lot of it has brought benefit to us, but a lot of it has brought a lot of frustration and difficulty. And what role does technology play in, in our future? And what role uh, does it hinder patient care? If we're spending all of our time charting and we're spending all of our time in computers, we're not spending time with our patients. So I think figuring out where that line lives between how much time we should be spending with our patients versus how much time we are spending with technology really will define what it means to be a doctor versus uh, just following an algorithm. No, I don't think you can go back to a place without electronic health records. I mean, the benefit they offer to be able to understand what care patients receive, what medicines they're on. I think the promise of the of of EHRs uh, is there. I think they just haven't delivered yet. I think if the ability to put all that information together in a usable way is really the challenge of the future. Uh, when you have one system that has the patient's medical records and one system that has their pharmacy records and they don't reconcile and then you're actually looking at wrong data, I think that, that hurts. But an EMR is definitely necessary for us to actively treat a patient, see what's going on with them. A uh, paper chart does not offer that and, and uh, believe that we continue moving on and just fixing what's broken. I think being able to access it from any platform anywhere at any time is important. I think interoperability, can't just be a phrase anymore, it needs to actually work. We need to be able to actually see our patients, whether or not they were in our health system, another health system, another part of the country. I don't think, just like financial data is available, if you have the right access, healthcare should be available. Your healthcare information should be available to anyone. I think the patient needs to really own their data. It's theirs, and they should be able to access it and give it to whoever they want. It should not require all these third parties to be involved in that.
I think the concept works almost like a credit score where I think when you want someone to check your financial health, you're able to authorize someone to check your credit score and that's universal. They don't have to be pulling information from each different system there. That information exists and is, and is owned. I think the ability for uh, the patient to own their data is, is important. It's Again, it's their record, it's their data. They can choose to share it with whoever they want. The fact that other health systems can control your data for their own use is not fair. It doesn't belong to anyone else uh, but the patient. I think it's a great idea. I think in practicality, how we execute that is really important uh, in terms of making sure it works. Mm -hmm.